Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Hey YouTube, Lumpus Post 1975 and welcome to another Fat Friday video a series of videos where I take a look at some of the more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street. Now, if you're staring at that thumbnail and you're getting a sense of deja vu, I don't blame you because that's exactly what it was when I first saw this product in Iceland. Long time viewers of this series, I say this series, uh, it's this series of videos is officially a year old this month. Actually, my YouTube channel is officially 10 years old this month. But anyway, that's nothing to do with this video. In last February, last March, I think, last March, um, I reviewed the Carolina Reaper Scarily Spicy Limited Edition Curry from Iceland. And basically, it's pretty much the hottest curry I have ever ever had and since then it's exploded into a whole range of products and it must be pretty successful for Iceland because when I was in their store uh, last week so this has been in my freezer for a week when I was in their store last week and I was walking through the aisle still looking for the elusive scarily spicy um, pies chicken pies because to me the concept of a hot and spicy pie is but I've never seen them, but I did see this new Iceland takeaway five chilies, scarily spicy, fiery Chinese style chicken curry. Looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? I thought it was the same product with kind of updated packaging, but um, the dragon basically was the giveaway. And look upon looking closer, I should say, you could see that the curry was a different color. So basically, thanks to the massive success of that curry, although I would like to argue, Iceland, I don't think your curry would be half as successful, or the range of products that have followed it, half as successful if it wasn't for all of us who've been eating your products on YouTube. So you're welcome. Free shit. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, so it's a Chinese style curry. What is a Chinese style curry? Well, for one thing, it's not Chinese. If you go to main China and ask people, uh, you know, if they eat curry, you will basically get a no. I'm not saying everyone doesn't eat it, but it's not a traditional Chinese dish. Chinese curry is basically, it's like tikka masala. Tikka masala apparently is the most popular or successful selling curry in this country why it's not hot um but it's not indian and Chi i could be wrong i could be wrong but this is my understanding chinese curry is kind of a similar thing it's basically uh, a western style invention do i like chinese curry um it's all right it's just it's not hot and it to me it has a very sort of licorice aniseed taste to it i don't know if that's and it looks like baby shit i don't know if that's what they intended to it but yeah not hot not you know the nicest of curry if there was nothing else in the store i might buy it to eat it but if there was a vindaloo there it's not getting a look in um i'm sure it's a lot of people oh yeah i forgot that it's got the uh, this is fucking hot warning this is fucking hot I don't know that yet though but uh yeah so chinese curry is it's not hot it's not my favorite curry this seems to be a bit more reddish than baby shit brown ish but yeah i don't i don't see the point i don't know if i go as bad to say i'll go as far as to say it's as shit as korma i got news for you if you eat korma because um you, it's the only you know other curries too hot for you and that's the only curry uh, you like i got news for you you clearly aren't a curry person and there's no point. So I am really, 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 really looking forward to it. So I either going to be really, really nice or it's going to kick my ass. Either way, I'm happy with both uh, results. So what are the, uh, the, the cooking instructions? This is what I get. You've got to cook these things in an oven to get the best out of it. I understand that it's a ready meal and getting the best out of it may be too strong a descriptive term for ultimately what you're gonna get. It's processed, <laughs> but you've gotta cook it in the oven. So here's the thing, nine minutes in a microwave, full power, 
or 50 minutes in an oven. I am going for the oven. This is my actual uh, lunch. Although to be perfectly honest, I'm not gonna lie, I have already had a KFC, but I'm still hungry. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna do it in the oven. I'm gonna eat it um, to share with you how hot it is. But then obviously I will take it back downstairs and put it on a bed of rice because you don't really need to see me eat this as a proper meal. I'm pretty sure most of you are here just to see if this is really, really hot and is gonna kick my ass. So anyway, as far as I can tell, this is, I only saw it last week for the first time and I check Iceland religiously because I'm still looking for those pies. So this, uh, at least I guess in the West uh, country, this is a brand new product by Iceland. Is it limited edition? Um, it doesn't say limited edition. Carolina Reaper ones still say limited edition and they do go away and come back. So this might be like sticking around indefinitely unless it sells shit. Anyway, I've waffled too much bollocks as it is. Let's go downstairs, bang this bad boy in the oven. It does look to be fair to have crackingly large chunks of chicken so that's kind of cool i have already preheated the oven to 200 why am i opening the grill 200 degrees celsius 50 minutes though i gotta say obviously i should open the cellophane i've spent my entire life jesus that smells absolutely banging and it does smell hot but yeah, I've spent, I've said this before, I've spent my entire life being told that you should never ever put cellophane or plastic in the oven. So when, when did this happen? When did this change? It goes against everything I believe because it just, and it always comes out burnt to fuck. But yeah, when did that happen and it became a thing? Right, see you in 50 minutes. Well, I can confirm that once again, mainly thanks to the dodgy seal on this oven, that this smells phenomenal. Don't burn your fingers. Ooh. I have no idea I didn't burn myself then. And this comes back to what I said about cellophane in an oven. <clears throat> and also, if you think you're having any of this, Buble, no chance. You're shit like a Saturn V going up. Right. Look at that. That smells phenomenal. Doesn't smell like a normal Chinese curry. So, and also it's not brown, it's kind of reddish. So this is gonna be really, really interesting. So as always, thanks to the fucked oven seal, the entire house smells of Chinese chicken curry. To be fair, there are worse things it could smell of. Now, it doesn't smell hot. It does not smell hot. Anyway, as always, my fire extinguisher of choice is supermarket knockoff lilt. Why? Because it tastes better than real lilt. Now, I forgot to mention um, how expensive these are. So the Iceland scarily spicy hot Chinese chicken curry will set you back about one pound seventy. It's less than two quid, and also um, it's very red. So your traditional Chinese curry or English curry, let's be honest, as I mentioned at the start of this video. It's got that kind of brown baby shit looking colour. This, try not to spill it all over the floor, it's very, very, very red. And again, like I said, it does not smell of spice. There's a shit ton of um, other ingredients in here, I should say. It's not just a question of curry sauce in chicken. Well, it's like tomato and veg and shit like that all knocking around. So, um, there's no other word for it, or phrase I should say. I'm using, by the way, uh, I don't know why when I went to KFC they gave me a plastic fork when I didn't get beans or even a side dish, period. But, to justify it, you know, this is as close as I get to being green, um, I figured I'd use it for this. So, um, yeah, let's jump straight into it. For want of a better descriptive phrase, two tears in a bucket, fuck it. First things first, that is an absolutely fantastic tasting 
curry sauce, curry juice, if you will. Second of all, there's an immediate hit to the back of your throat, an absolute immediate hit to the back of your throat, but it is not unbearable. In fact, I would say, my lips are tingling a little bit, back of throat's but oh the tongues it's a slow burner the tongue the lips are gone on the back but not unbearably hot and the tongue is tingling it's tingling it's not burning but it certainly doesn't have the immediate smash in the face with the heat shovel that the scarily spicy carolina reaper curry does but yeah my tongue's gone all the way to the back that's interesting it's not that quick and i wouldn't say it's an unbearable heat um so let's uh Let's get a second reading, if you will. That is a phenomenally, oh, getting there, getting there, phenomenally tasty curry. And unfortunately, palate cleanse, no, that's not unfortunate. Unfortunately, I, I get a little bit of that aniseed taste. I don't know if that's, you know, back of the lips, proper burning now. Um, I'd say it's about half as strong as the uh, scary spicy Carolina Reaper curry. I'm not sweating. Um, back of the throat, yeah. Back of the lips, yeah. Tongue's a bit tingly. Um, that's not, sorry Iceland. It's very, very, very nice. And it's certainly hotter than your limited edition pussified Vindaloo. But I don't know if I put that warning incredibly hot or scarily spicy on the box, I'd probably just say hot chicken curry, because that's what it is. But again, what it also is, is unbelievably tasty. And they don't piss around and stimp with the decent pieces of chicken. My mouth's just gone into overdrive. <clears throat> and my voice has gone all wavery. Yeah, do you know what? It just it just hits the back of your throat, the back of your lips, and then your tongue. But then once you once you like, like it, it's a slow builder. But then yeah, until you have the next piece, I wouldn't be sitting there thinking, Christ, that's unbearable. If anything, I have to say, Iceland, I'm a little underwhelmed. Again, I don't know if I'd be putting such bold, big descriptions on my boxes. Warning: extremely hot and scarily spicy when it's only a pinch hotter than what I would call a normal Vindaloo, if that, to be honest, if that. The lips though, they are really, really burning. So basically, should you try this? Absolutely, it's phenomenally tasty. And um, unlike your standard um, Chinese chicken curries, it's hot, it is hot. They are not, this is hot. And it is, you know, it's a fair old degree of hot. Excuse me. Windy Pops, your um, experience of heat may vary to mine, but yeah, it's certainly, you know, it's hot, but it is not warning extremely hot or scarily spicy hot. Anyway, I should stop eating this because i got to put it on some, some rice and have it as my actual dinner. We'll go for one more piece. Um, anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you have tried this, and I would really actually recommend it. Um... But it ain't, it ain't blow your face off nuclear heart. It certainly isn't. But I am enjoying it. I would buy this again. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.